development of open access now is in what you call high gear. Uh, as a matter of fact, the former Prime Minister Wen Jiabao made a call in 2012 in the National Innovation Congress that all the information produced by public funding should be openly accessible. And uh, this year, the State Council leadership also issued a directive that all the funding agencies should promote open access to public funded open access uh, public funded research results and the, the ministry of science and technology the national science foundation of china and the chinese academy of sciences as far as i know are now all actively involved in developing policies to uh, promote open access, including promoting the author depositing of research papers in institutional repositories or funders' repositories, and the supporting the publishers, uh, supporting the researchers to publish in open access journals. I personally am uh, very positive that we will have more concrete actions in next half or one year because China as a society that is on the way of what they call innovation driven development needs the knowledge and China that has the innovation activities carried out in many aspects of the society outside of the innate organizations I'm positive but of course we still have to work on that and uh, we, in this effort, we need and we welcome the collaboration from the publishers. Well, the Chinese Academy of Sciences uh, has been promoting open access from very early on. It was the first Chinese organization to sign Berlin Declaration, and it is now one of the uh, funding agencies for the Global Research Council's Open Access Action Plan and it is leading the review of this action plan for the Global Research Council which includes more than 50 countries in the world. It started open access effort in 2008 and it published its open access strategy to support open access in many aspects including supporting publishing in open access journals and including publishing its own, its own open access journals and including supporting the institutional repository networks. Chinese Academy of Sciences recognized the need to support its researchers to publish in open access journals. It has several measures to support this. One is, one is that it allows its researchers to use research fund to pay ethical processing charge for open access journals. It itself supports more than 100 journals published as open access. And it's one of the first organizations in China to support institutional memberships for open access publishing and that first started with Biomed Central. The reason we select Biomed Central as one of our first collaborators in open access publishing is that first the academic quality. Uh, that is the most important consideration for our researchers and the quality control process of research papers that has to be trusted, which we think Biomed Central meets our requirements. And then the transparency in pricing and affordability and economics for the funding institutions. All of this have been taken into consideration in our decision to support uh, our researchers to publish in Biomed Central. And we are glad Biomed Central has lived up to our expectations in most of those areas.